In this video, short video, I'm going to show you how to solve simple uh, linear simultaneous equations using the uh, polynomial and the simultaneous equation solver app on the TI. Again, if you don't have it, please find the links that I've already posted that tell you how to get it. It's a really, really, really useful app. I won't go into that too much again. So here you go. Something that you, I'm sure you've seen many times set of simultaneous linear equations. Now, 3, 3x minus 4y equals 2, 5x minus 17y equals minus 13. Now, just before I do anything, you absolutely need to be able to do this using an analytical method. So, potentially by making both the x's 15x, eliminating x's, find the y, substituting back again, all, all the stuff you, I'm sure you've done before, and you should know how to do, you need to know how to do. Uh, firstly, it could come up on a non-calculator paper, then you don't have a calculator anyway. Secondly, if on a calculator paper it says you must show all of your working, then the only thing you get to use the calculator for is just the, the literally the calculations. But if, say, simultaneous equations arise um, as part of a bigger question, it's um, probably a good idea to use the solver. If you just asked to solve them and say it's not for many marks, say it was only for two marks, there's no problem using it then because there's only two two things writing down. Um, also, say you weren't entirely sure about the working out you'd done, you might you might not be certain. You could use the solver as a check if you're allowed to calculate. There's nothing wrong with that as, as long as you don't take too long doing it. So. There's three good reasons to use it there. And plus, as you move through, as you get into the IB, they're, they're more likely to um, give you, expect you to use the technology to solve simultaneous equations, certainly on a calculated paper, because you, there just isn't enough time to do all of the analytical stuff. It takes away from some of the um, harder problem solving elements that will be there. So without further ado, I will fire up the sh solver and show you how you can solve this very quickly using your TI-84. Okay, so here's the calculator loaded up. Um, if we need to come out of that. So to get to the solver, I'm going to come out even still. Imagine you're at the beginning. So we're going to go to apps and we're going to go to this poly SMLT2. So it's a poly and simultaneous equation solver. Two because it's the second version. If you can't see that, I, I strongly advise you to get it. Um, if, so we um, press enter, we go into it. And you don't want a polynomial root fold finder, you want the simultaneous equation solver. So just like that. Um, it can handle up to 10 unknowns and 10 equations. So it's really quite, um, it's quite heavy computing that it's capable of doing. But we, in most cases, certainly in the IGCSE, you're only going to have two unknowns, X and Y or A and B, something like that. In the IB, you might go up to three, but I wouldn't have thought you're likely to go beyond that unless it's for an IA or something. So two equations, two unknowns. There's your two equations. Your two unknowns are X and Y, so that's fine. Press next. And then we just type it in exactly as it looks. So 3X minus 4Y equals 2. So I'm going to type 3 minus 4, mini minus 4, 2, just like that. Make it look exactly like that. And then 5 minus 17 minus 13. 5 minus 17 minus 13 just like that and then click it all in and I need to press solve so I press here and it gives me two answers simple as that so uh, it's giving me x1 and x2 that really you can read that as x and y so x equals 86 over 40 x equals 86 over 31 and y equals 49 over 31. Now, if you don't want it in fractional form, and you definitely don't because it's asked you for three significant figures, then you can see this little FD bit here. If we just press that, it converts them to the form that we want. So <clears throat> x is 2.77 and y is 1.58. Just like that. Okay, so have a go at solving these simultaneous equations using the same solver giving it to three significant figures and using exactly the same method. So 5x minus 9y equals minus 11, minus 9x plus 5y equals 0.